Hello, sports fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back with another Marlins game. Now, I don't know if you've been following along as we've been playing this Marlins season, but let's take a look at where we are right now. So we're going to go to um, League Statistics. And as you can see, the Marlins are 0-9. Oh, Nine games played, none won. So we're 0-9. And, and at this point, the Marlins in real life were 4-5, and five, which is really a reflection of the fact that I'm not doing a very good job at managing it. <laughs> I ain't that good. Neither is the computer on the quick plays that I do. So we will uh, get out of that. Let's take a look at the Marlins' stats. Go to team stats and go to primary. You can see we are hitting 242 as a team, which is not good. Um, and uh, but we have some good players. I mean, Sheffield is doing quite well. Um, although you know we could be a little better in the home run department. But down on the pitching, and I don't know, you probably can't see that, but we got a 563. Uh, earned run average so our pitching is terrible and to make matters worse today Mark Gardner is pitching and he is coming in with after one start with a 21 earned run average <laughs> now I did bring some people up and put some people down so let's take a look at um, our lineups today and I'll see if I want to make some changes I do <coughs> have have people up, but I don't necessarily have to play them, uh, but we'll see. And I did bring up some new pitchers for the bullpen, so I got some fresh arms out in the pen. So uh, let's, I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to start the game. We're going to start the, uh, go to the uh, opening scene where we can see what the lineups are. And you can see right here. Here are the lineups. We are at home. So, um, and yes, human. And we are playing the San Francisco Giants today. Um, I think the Giants are like six and three or something like that. I forgot what they were. But anyway, uh, they're going to line up as Patterson at second, uh, Lewis in center field, Barry Bonds in left, um, Matt Williams at third. Todd Benzinger at first base, Martinez in right, Royce Clayton at short, Kurt Mann wearing a dress at catcher, and Brian Hickerson will be their pitcher. Now, here is our lineup, and I may want to go, let's take a look at this. We may want to edit this lineup. Um, and we are going to do that. Um, I'm going to put Bob Nadel in at catcher. Instead of Santiago, we'll move him down a little bit in the lineup. Well, not that far. He should be in front of Barbary. Uh, let's see. Colburn hasn't played a lot, and he's been pretty good. I'm going to put him at first base instead of Magadan. And uh, let's see. Anybody else? Diaz hasn't played a lot, but he hasn't been very good either. Um, I'm, but I'm going to put him at second base. So we're going to have some new guys playing today. I think that's how we want to go. We want to roll. So we're going to have Carr in center, Brown at third, Sheffield in right, Conine in left, Colburn at first, uh, Abbott at short, Nadal at catcher, Mario Diaz, I guess is who that is at second base, and then Mark Gardner pitching. And we are going to turn the sound down on the computer. Oh, and it is already, I guess. So, yeah. All right. 
Um, so let's get ready to play some ball here. And you can see we got Mark Gardner out there, his beautiful face, and he's going up against John Patterson of the, um, and let me move myself a little out of the way here. He's going up against Patterson, so here is the opening pitch of the ball game. And Patterson is immediately going to be on base with a double. So that brings up Darren Lewis to bat against um, Gardner with his 12. He's putting his 12 ERA on the line. Here's Barry Bonds. So he got, uh, he got the second guy out. And that's a good sign. But Barry Bonds takes it right back up the middle. I'm going to stop uh, Bonds from advancing to second. And we're going to pitch to Matt Williams with Bonds at first. And he steals uh, the base. Not a good start here for Gardner, I got to say. And that's going to be a potential out. And it is. And now Todd Benzinger is up. And he will deal to Benzinger just like to say Benzinger. So that's a fly ball to Carr, and we're out of the inning, having allowed a run. We got Chucky Carr going up against Brian Hickerson. I don't know why I don't have a Brian Hickerson pitcher. I mean, that guy was pretty prominent in the, uh, in the 90s and 2000s, wasn't he? So we got Carr aboard, but I don't like that steal percentage. at 65%. We're going to let the governor hit Jerry Brown. And that is going to be a ground ball down the first base line, and it does move Carr over to second, but there is an out, and our leading hitter, Gary Sheff, the chef, and he strikes out. That brings up Conine. Let's see if Conine can knock Carr home. A single would even do it, but of course he can. So now you got Dave Martinez up. He is currently the manager of the Washington Nationals in real life at least for a little while longer until, you know, it's determined that, oh, he went deep. The manager of the Nationals took it downtown. And so Clayton is up, Royce Clayton. So, yeah, 0-9, I definitely wanted to get this game in because when we win, I want to be the manager that wins the game, although it doesn't look like that's going to happen today. We're down 2-0. Um, and... Oddly, a run in every inning would lower Gardner's ERA. So Manwaring is at first with only one out, and Hickerson, the pitcher, up. And even Hickerson goes down. The, what in the heck is going on? A triple by Hickerson. Oh, my God. All right, Patterson's up. That drives in another run. It's 3 nothing. Abbott will throw him out, and that's two down. And Lewis is up. We're down 4 nothing here. Not liking this. And uh, Lewis goes right between second and third. What kind of card did Gardner have? All right. Well, anyway. And then, of course, Bond steals again. I got to be. Or no, not Bonds. Lewis. Lewis steals. Everybody's stealing on this dude. All right. Well, it's 4 nothing. We're going to the bottom of the second. And Greg Colbrin getting his first uh, start, I think, of the season at first base. He's out, and Kurt Abbott is up. And Kurt Abbott is going to hit the ball to shortstop and be out. And here's Bob Nadel, my main man, Bob Nadel. I think this guy was on a team that I had. I love those. Man, I love that, um, uh, what do you call it, that type of blue, that coral blue. All right, so Matt Williams batting against Gardner here in the top of the third. Um, we're going to see if Gardner can turn in a zero inning. It does not look like he can, at least not right now, because Williams let it off with a gone fly ball home run. Oh, wait a minute. No, that was foul. But now this one will be a real out-of-the-park home run. It is gone, and Benzinger is up. This guy is ridiculously bad. I mean, really? 
I, it's crazy how bad he is. So now bat, um, pitching to was Mark Gardner a reliever? Maybe I maybe I'm not supposed to be starting him. But no, he was listed in the starting rotation for today. All right, so um, uh, Clayton is up with Benzinger on. There's one out, and he's out. So there's two down. Man Waring is up at the plate. We're down five and nothing. Five nothing. And there's another guy on board. And now Hickerson, who's one for one with a triple to help his own cause. And he's going to strike out. So uh, that brings up Mario Diaz for us. Batting against Hickerson. And not only is Hickerson, does he have a triple, but he's pitching great against us. But Diaz gets a board and now Gardner is up. I'm going to let him bat. I can't go through my, I can't burn through my bullpen like this. So we're going to let him hit. He strikes out and that's probably better than grounding into a double play at least. And Chuck Carr, who is one for one on the day, is up at the plate and he's out. And that brings up Jerry Brown. And what can we expect here? That might be a base hit. It rolls up his arm. It's an error. So now, come on, Chef. If you can get a home run right here, we're right back in this game. And he walks. And so let's see if Conine can get a home run right here. And Conine is going to maybe get a base hit. Is it? No. So we're going to the top of the fourth, down five nothing. I'm starting to be like the like Harry Doyle. <laughs> that is a fly ball. Hopefully out. It's better than a no. It's a double. The first guy of the inning. Well, there's a lot of guys in every inning that Mark Gardner has trouble with, but he really has trouble with the first guy of the inning. So there's two on with Barry Bonds up and no outs. And uh, what do we got there? Double play. Thank you, Mr. Spaulding. So we got Williams, Matt Williams up. Hopefully that's a fly ball to Chef. And it is. And that's the first zero inning. Let's, let's give him a round of applause, people. First zero inning for Mark Gardner. And uh, Colbrin is up. I'm, I'm probably after this going to find out that he's really a reliever and that he shouldn't have even been starting. But, I mean, the computer had him as a starting pitcher. Colbrin with a nice leadoff double. And Abbott is up. And Abbott is going to probably fly out to Martinez for the first out. I ain't going anywhere because I need five runs. Nadal. Bob Nadal. And he's going to strike out. And that brings up Mario Diaz. Mario Diaz is going to rip a hit. Can Colburn score? He can. And Mark Gardner is now up. And we are on the board. And it's 5-1. And that is going to be an out. So that brings up uh, <clears throat> that brings up the Giants with Todd Benzinger, and you can notice here that he has uh, Gardner has lowered his ERA from twenty one something to fifteen. So that man is on a roll. That's going to be a fly out to Carr. And Martinez is up. He has a home run on the day. I want to point out Martinez was also the bench coach for the uh, Rays when uh, Madden was the manager there. And that brings up Royce Clayton. And Royce Clayton is going to ground out. And we not only have a zero inning from Gardner, but a one, two, three inning. So now he's settling in after having dug us into a hole that is going to be very hard to get out of. Chucky Carr, though, the top of our lineup and at the top of the lineup for this inning, and Brown, the Governor Brown, steps up. 
So he is out, and Sheffield's up with two down. Hasn't done much today. He walked. We would like to see a home run, but no, that's going to be a fly out to Lewis. Lewis. And so you got Mark Gardner at the plate. He's he or um, uh, pitching to Kurt Manwaring, who's two for two. You let Manwaring be two for two, you got a problem. Or if you let Hick Hickerson be one for two with a triple, it, again, problem, problematic. But that's going to be a pop out, and he gets the first two batters, and now that brings up John Patterson. He's two for three with two doubles today. But that may be an out. Chuck Carr should play that one. <clears throat> and now Gardner is on some kind of a roll. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and uh, Jeff Conine is the batter. Again, I'm trying to preserve my bullpen, although I did bring up some new arms, so we'll see how they could do. And Conine, did he just go deep? No, he didn't. He went deep to the wall. So uh, Colbrin is up. He's one for two with a double today. And he does work a walk. So Kurt Abbott is up with one down. And that's going to be an E4 and Natal at the plate with one down and runners at second and third. And Nadal is going to hit the ball to shortstop, and that does drive in a run. And so now it's 5-2 to two with Mario Diaz up. And Gardner on deck, and I would pinch hit for him. Uh, but I didn't get the chance to do that. We are going to let him, I think we're going to try to let him, no, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, we're home, so I am going to go and relieve Mark Gardner right now. And we're going to bring in, is that Jay Johnstone? No, it's not Jay Johnstone, but whoever it is, he's pitching now. It is John Johnstone. So he's going to pitch to Darren Lewis. Close the book on Mark Gardner, thank God. And that's going to be a fly ball to Carr for one away. Barry Bonds. Let's see how Mr. Johnston handles Barry Bonds. He uh, does not handle him at all. He just puts him on first base to pitch to Matt Williams. And I think we picked Bonds off. He got a little too greedy. He wanted another stolen base, and he didn't get it. So Matt Williams is up. And he is going to be on first base. We're not going to worry about Matt Williams stealing. Not in the even uh, any of the multiverses. But Benzinger just went shopping at the Gap or home running. Yeah, he went home running. So that's two more runs and it's 7-2. to two. And uh, Martinez gets works his way on. And that brings up Royce Clayton. Royce Clayton, and he is out. And now John Stone is up. We are going to pinch hit for him. We're down 7-2. to two. We need five runs. So certainly we are not letting John Stone hit. Um, we're going to bring up Destrada. He's my favorite pinch hitter on this team. And he will face uh, Hickerson, who, you know, obviously Hickerson would still be out there. He's pitching quite well is that a is that a base hit no no they just got to it and did a great throw back across the diamond chucky car up at the plate and he is out and that brings up the governor jerry brown with two down and we're down by five here in the seventh inning and brown is going to hit a fly ball to bonds <clears throat> so yes we do need another Pitcher, let's see. Um, Brown was at, where was he? Brown was playing third base. Can Destrada play third? No. Can Colburn play third? No. So we're just going to put the pitcher in, a new pitcher. And that is going to be, um, I, I hesitate to say Matthews, but it is going to be Matthews. 
So he'll be the new pitcher. I mean, he's as far as pitchers go on the Marlins, on this Marlins team, he's not terrible. But Man Waring just got another hit, and it's a double. And Hickerson is up, and they're going to probably have him bunt, try to bunt Man Waring over, and it works. And so now Patterson is two for four with two doubles. We're down by five. Not a good situation. Not a good look. And uh, we got him, so that's two down, and Darren Lewis is now up at the plate. Looks like we are well destined for 0-10 on the season. Lewis is aboard, and now Bonds is up. And Bonds rips it right down the... No! No! No, that was a great play by Colburn, really, is what that was. So, Sheffield is now up. We're down eight to two. So, yeah, we got a big comeback in us. No, we don't. So, Conine is up, and there's one down. Um, Sheffield just went by the boards. I wonder when we're going to get our first win, but that might be a Conine home run, though. That would be nice to see. No, yes, yes, it is. So we do have a home run and we have another run. It's eight to three now. We're down by five again. It seems to be a common theme. We're down by five. Colburn ripping a nice base hit. And now uh, Kurt Abbott is up with Colburn aboard. And uh, what do we got? We got a hit between the hole there. And uh, we're going to, yeah, we're holding all runners here. That's what we're doing. Hickerson is finally tired, and Bob Nadel is going to be the batter. Let's see if they let him pitch to Nadel. Um, they don't. They're going to bring in Pat Gomez. Pat Gomez will deal to Nadel. And Nadel, did he work a walk? He did. Mario Diaz is up. Let's see if Mario Diaz can knock some people in. And that is not going to do it. No. So we're going to send Matthews back out to the mound. Yes, in the ninth inning. I did bring up Brian Harvey, but, you know, you really want Harvey in a save situation, which it's going to be questionable if this team will ever run across that. But Benzinger is now at the plate with one down and two for four on the day with a home run. And he's out. And that brings up the manager of the Nationals, Dave Martinez. And uh, did he get a base hit? It's a nice pick, and then it's an out. And we are not going to let Matthews hit here in the bottom of the ninth. There is no way that's happening. Um, I am going to say, let's see. The pitcher is a lefty who's a 9L. So we're not going to let Magadan hit. We're not going to let Barbary hit because he's Barbary. We're not going to let Carrillo hit. I'm really whittling it down. I guess we're going to go with Arias. So we'll let Alex Arias hit against... Pat Gomez. And let's see. Did he get something? Uh, yes, he did. He got a base hit. And now Chucky Carr is up. Are they going to? No, they're not making a pitching change. And Carr is going to be out. So with Arias aboard and one down, we got Brown up. We're down by five. Got to have some kind of a miracle. Maybe the 27 Yankees lineup. But that's a ball four. So there's two runners on. Sheffield's up. Now, if he hits a home run, of course, we're down by two all of a sudden. But that is not going to be a home run. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be a double play. And that is the game. So let's go to look at the box score, shall we? Uh, as depressing as that will be, if you are a Marlins fan hoping for our first win, you're not. Your hopes fell a little short this game. So you can see what everybody's doing. Carr was one for five, and he's hitting 200 on the year. The governor, Jerry Brown's hitting 147. I probably don't want a 147 hitter in the second hole. Sheffield hitting 366. Conine at 342. Colburn at 417. Abbott at 289, and then these guys not doing well at all. Although Arias, he is hitting 500. So, uh, yeah, Hickerson was great. He's pitched seven and a third, allowed six hits, uh, only and walked three. He really wasn't that sharp. But 
um, and, and two earned runs, three runs total, struck out eight. But uh, Gardner, man, Gardner went six innings. He allowed 10 hits. He uh, allowed five earned runs and two home runs. Lowered his ERA to 12, though, so he's probably happy about that, at least. You know, you got to imagine he's probably happy that that happened. So let me, I'm going to just take a quick look at uh, Gardner. He is a starter. He's a starter, and he started 134 games. Let's take a look at this card. Uh, yeah, that's not a great card, I got to say. If you're, yeah, that is not a very good card at all. 487 earned run average, though. And really for us, in, after two starts, he has a 12. All right, well, anyway, um, yeah, we are, you know, just one last look at the um, league stats to see our 0 and 10, to actually see the 0 and 10. 0 and 10, six games back. Look at this division, though. Philadelphia, New York, and Montreal, all six and four, with Atlanta at six and five. Then you got Houston here in the central, nine and one. And the Cubs are one and nine. So the Cubs are nearly as bad as we are. And in real life, they were three and seven at this point. Um, and then you got, and then here's the West with San Diego leading it at eight and three, San Francisco a half game behind them at seven and three. L.A. at 6-4, and four, and Colorado at 3-7. and seven. So that is going to be all for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.